It's time for a plushie review. That's right, today we are reviewing the Chen Pao plush that just recently released on the Pokemon Center online for the US. Of course, I had to grab one. I absolutely love Chen Pao. I'm so glad that we finally got a plush because I was really hoping they would make one. So far, they've only done Chen Pao. They have not done the other ruinous legendaries. I don't know if they will. I do think Chen Pao is the most popular out of all of them. So it makes sense that it got the plush. And I just, I'm so happy about it. We got some things to talk about though, so you can make an informed decision if this Chen Pao plush is for you. Before we get too far with this video, I do want to give you guys a chance to vote on the next plushie review. I've gotten a ton of new plushies lately, and the Halloween ones in Sitting Cuties are probably coming out soon. But we're gonna vote on some that I already have that I haven't made a video yet. Kind of, you know, get it more squared away for you guys so it's not all over the place. But we have Ogre Pond. I got the Wellspring Mask Ogre Pond. Or Pomot. I love Pomot, so I had to get a Pomot plush. Or we have the Comfy Friends Zorua. So make sure to comment down below which video you want to see next. If you're like me, you saw the Chen Pao plush photos and you're like, uh, he looks a little derpy. Um, yeah, that is definitely the impression I got from those photos, but I still wanted it irregardless. I actually think it looks a lot better in person than those photos do it justice. I do think the nose is the biggest problem here because it makes it so flat instead of rounded here. And I think that just has to do with how the stitching lays, but overall his teeth are a little funky right here. That's the other part that makes him kind of derpy. But overall, it looks like Chen Pao. It's proportionate to Chen Pao. We got our long, slender body and our long tail with every single crystal being embroidered. We got the blade teeth that are different lengths, different materials. It's really just this little part on its face when you look directly on. It looks a little derpy, but from here, it looks perfect. Let's talk price. This Chen Pao is currently available on PokemonCenter.com for $31.99. It's kind of a weird price tag. I can't say I've seen many um, plushies with a $31.99 price tag. It is, I would say, on the high side. This is a fairly big plush though. Just for some size comparison, here is a Wooper Sitting Cutie, which is usually around $11.99. They've been changing the prices a lot on the Sitting Cuties lately. And here's our Chen Pao. So it's obviously much bigger. It's a heck of a lot more detail than a lot of the other plushes get and different fabrics and all that. So I do think the $31.99 is worth the size and the detail that goes into this plush. Some things to consider when you are getting this plush, it does stand on its own very well. It's a very sturdy plush, especially its legs. A lot of times when you get a plush, the legs kind of splay out and they don't really stand up as well. But this one stands up all on its own and it looks great when it does it too. The swords are, you know, they're not always going to be exactly how you want them. You will have to position them to look a certain way. Same thing with his little ice whiskers he's got going on. They need to be adjusted as well sometimes because they're just more of a flexible material. They don't have anything too stiff in them. The swords have something in them, but again, it's not gonna stay like that all the time. I am personally super happy with my purchase. As I said before, I am a Chen Pao lover, so I knew even if it was a funky looking plush that I was gonna get it. But again, I think this looks a lot better in person than it does in the product photos. I've had a few people say that too with just the shorts I've made, that they think it looks a lot better in person than the product photos. And a lot of times that's just what you need to see is what it looks like. IRL 
rather than the photos. I don't know what was up with those photos. I mean, it shows a lot of him. It just looked a little funky, looked a little derpy, and not like an egregious amount, just enough to make you question whether you wanted it or not. Give this plush a 9 out of 10, just because of the funkiness going on here. It just makes him look a little funky, but overall, it's a super solid plush with some beautiful detailing in it. It's super sturdy, it's gonna last a long time. Again, this is also a white plush, which means it's gonna get dirty fast. So you just have to be paying attention to that. That's all for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below on who you would like to see me talk about next, Ogre Pond, Paw Mach, or Zorua. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!